AMD is getting a lot of interest from investors because they're thinking of it like it's the next NVIDIA. And they are right to think that. They're related. AMD has made progress against NVIDIA in the past on gaming. And investors are thinking AMD can again make progress against NVIDIA on AI to take, you know, at least close the gap between NVIDIA's leadership position and AMD's, you know, not among nvidia in that scale and we're going to look at that in this video too so i'm going to look at several different metrics here with amd and nvidia try and determine you know just how close is amd to nvidia and if it makes sense for investors to go with amd instead of nvidia to play on that catch-up trade so let's take a look at this I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so what I have here is AMD and NVIDIA and their stock price over the last five years. And let's go back all the way to 2019. You can see AMD and NVIDIA very close in terms of their stock price. And they moved in tandem for the most part for the last five years, although NVIDIA just started creating this gap between itself and AMD starting, I would say, right about 2021. And the gap kind of narrowed a little bit in 2022. And then in 2023, of course, NVIDIA came out with this leading cutting edge GPUs for artificial intelligence. And that really created a bigger gap here. And the gap is the widest it's ever been between AMD and NVIDIA. And that's what has investors thinking, well, historically, they've traded together more closely. They've been more correlated. So AMD has to catch up, right? It's inevitable. Well, it's not that simple. I don't think it's inevitable. I do think they are closely related. They serve similar markets, although AMD is a little bit more with CPUs, computers, um, whereas NVIDIA is more just solely focused with the GPUs and so they're a little bit different although they do serve a similar market similar end use cases and so it's reasonable to think that AMD will catch up to Nvidia although I don't know how much they will close the gap you can see the stock prices here were like maybe ten dollars apart and now you look here 179.50 as of this recording for AMD and $619.66 for NVIDIA. But I would argue, and I have been arguing, that this surge in NVIDIA's stock price has been justified. The company has delivered excellent performance, especially in the last year, and I'm gonna show you these metrics. Let's take a look here. So what I have here is NVIDIA and AMD's revenue, and you can see a similar chart here for them. When NVIDIA is increasing, AMD is increasing, and when, a when NVIDIA came down, AMD was coming down. But the big difference here is NVIDIA in 2023 experienced a massive surge in revenue due to the rising effectiveness of artificial intelligence and enterprises and institutions rushing to get their hands on nvidia chips for their development of ai whereas you could see here amd you're not seeing anything yet you're not seeing that burst that nvidia experienced now it might happen it might just come a little bit later but you just haven't seen that yet and AMD said that their operating income has been down because they're investing research and development. They increased research and development investment in AI. And so you can reasonably assume they're going to come out with products to serve that AI market. And I'll tell you from all of the companies that I follow that are implementing or trying to implement AI, they desperately want a second and third competitor to AMD. They desperately want that because no company likes to have that supplier risk where they're dependent on one supplier for this critical component. And so enterprises are desperately looking for a second, a third, maybe even a fourth competitor so that they can diversify their supply base. So even if AMD's products are not as good as Nvidia's, Enterprises are going to give AMD's products a chance. 
just for the sake of diversifying and lowering the risk of being beholden to one supplier. They don't want NVIDIA to have the entire market, and then NVIDIA can flex tremendous negotiating power when selling those units and deciding who gets the supply of those units. So for those reasons, AMD is going to have an opportunity here. They're going to have an opportunity to serve this market and get a share of this market. It's on them to execute. And to their credit, they have executed well before. A similar story passed, uh, I would say, five, six, seven years ago when NVIDIA was significantly ahead in the gaming market with their GPUs and then AMD came out with GPUs to serve the gaming market that were pretty strong and gamers liked them. They were, you know, comparable to Nvidia, even if they weren't the best, they were comparable to Nvidia and the same with CPUs. AMD has done a good job in increasing the quality and performance of their CPUs to rival that of other CPU providers. So the company has a history of innovating and playing catch up and doing a good job in closing the gap among the market leaders in the CPU and GPU market. So that's why I say it's reasonable to assume they have this capability that they can do it again. Still, you can see, again, when we look at the operating profit margin, Nvidia has been ahead for the last decade and created a gap and that gap has widened recently nvidia exploding to 45.94 percent amd 0.41 percent negative because of the uh you know at the end of 2022 computer sales dropped significantly many people that wanted to buy computers already bought them in 2020 and 2021 so the demand for C for computers has been lower although in 2024 it's expected to rebound after the slow area slow growth in 2022 and 2023 so for that reason amd's operating margin collapsed although i do suspect it'll recover close to the 20 percent mark uh, if not in 2024 perhaps in 2025 and similarly with cash flow from operations you can see amd well ahead i'm sorry nvidia well ahead of amd uh, amd was closing the gap but now nvidia opening the gap again so in every one of these critical metrics that we've looked at in revenue in profit in cash flow nvidia is significantly ahead and the, the strong year in 2023 only made that gap even wider but if we look at the prospects for the next two years, NVIDIA is forecasted to do much better than AMD with 57% revenue growth in 2024 and then 63% revenue growth in 2020. I'm sorry, 63% earnings per share growth in 2024. But then in 2025 is when NVIDIA is expected to slow down with 17% revenue growth and 17% earnings per share growth. This is where investors forecast that AMD will take over NVIDIA in terms of growth rate, in terms of earnings per share growth rate. So for 2024, this is AMD now, 17.8% revenue growth expected with 44% earnings per share growth expected. These are excellent growth numbers, but they're behind NVIDIA. And then 2025, 17% revenue growth, similar to NVIDIA, but then 34% earnings per share growth which is double that of NVIDIA for 2025. So investors are expecting AMD to close the gap and then to push past NVIDIA in terms of growth rate earnings per share starting in 2025. Now, both of these companies are excellent and you may have noticed if you watched my video on my top 24 stocks to buy in 2024, AMD and Nvidia are in my top stocks to buy for 2024. And I've shown you why they've got excellent forecasts, excellent expectations for the next couple of years. But what I have here is the valuation, the forward PE for AMD and Nvidia. AMD is trading at a forward PE of 34, more expensive than Nvidia at a forward PE of 30. So if you're an investor and you're looking at this and saying, man, AMD is really good. They're going to catch up. They're going to, you know, do well in the market over the next two years. Yeah, but it's also more expensive than NVIDIA. And the forecast for this year, at least, is that NVIDIA will continue 
to perform better in terms of revenue and profitability. And then only starting in 2025 will AMD catch up. So if I'm an investor and I'm thinking, is AMD going to be the next NVIDIA? Maybe. But at these prices, if I'm choosing between these two, I would just go with NVIDIA. I would just go with NVIDIA. Unless you're trying to diversify and you've already got some NVIDIA stock and you want to diversify, then it makes sense. But if you're trying to make your first purchase into this space and you're considering between these two, I would still pick NVIDIA. Despite the stock price increase, you can see the valuation is not that much more. It's actually cheaper because the performance has been so much better and the performance continues to be better and so it's justified for the price to increase because you're getting so much more so much more revenue so much more earnings so much more cash flow if you like the video you just saw and you want to see more just like it please subscribe to the channel i can't keep this channel free without the support of viewers like you and if you're already subscribed thank you and i appreciate your support